All right, guys. Hey, welcome to the video. And here today, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, PS3 exploit version 2.0 without needing a PC or a USB. You're going to pretty much do everything from the PS3. The PS3 obviously needs to be connected to the internet and preferably having a cable directly connected to your router. If not, make sure your Wi-Fi is really strong. Your PS3 needs to be on 482 official firmware in order for this to work. And no, Super Slims will not work. 3000 series uh, Slim PS3s will not work. Basically, it's only the PS3s that were able to be jailbroken in the past. Those are the ones that this PS3 exploit will work on. Now, originally, this was supposed to be one video showing all the different exploits but it was going on too long and plus there's a few different ways to do this so i decided to break them up into pieces it's either going to be two or three videos so here is part one uh the first way to deal with the new exploit version 2.0 so let's go ahead and get started Okay guys, so the first method we're covering is the no PC, no USB drive method, which means exactly like it sounds, you don't need a PC for this, you don't even to ha need to have a USB flash drive. You will need to have an internet connection. Now before you run this, I suggest you follow the steps in my previous video to dump your BIOS, either the NOR or NAND BIOS, depending on which system you have, and check them and make sure they're clean. At some point, and I'll tell you when, you're going to have to check them again to make sure that they're okay. Now, I may do a video dedicated solely on how to check BIOS. If I do, I'll put a link in the description and you can uh, follow the steps in that video. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get started. Go into your internet browser. Hit the start button. You square to delete all that and then type ps3exploit.com. Now, I already have it here on this one. So just hit start afterwards. Then you're going to come up here. You're going to go to Flash Writer. Then go down to the second one, which is Write Flash from HDD. Then pick your correct PS3. You should know by now whether you have a NAND PS3 or a NOR one. Um, pretty much all PS3 slims that are jailbreakable are all NOR. So mine is a NOR. I'm going to pick that. You're going to get hit with this. Just hit OK. okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come down here. Scroll down if you want with the uh, right thumbstick. Uh, put this right here where it says press here. Make sure it turns to a finger. Once it turns to the little finger, press triangle. Go to file. Go to save target. And then right here, just press X. And just wait a little bit. Now when you get this message, hit circle, which it says download completed. At this point, go ahead and hit triangle again, go to home page, click on use current so it remembers this page and then go to OK. Now hit triangle again and delete cookies, delete search history, and you're going to delete the cache. All right, so delete the cache. Once all three of those are done, escape out of this. When you're back at the XMB, if you want, you can go to Photos just to make sure the file downloaded. Now, the file is not a genuine photo, so it's going to show corrupt because it's not really a picture, although it has a .jpg extension. If you want, hit Triangle, go to Information, and you can see it says Flash underscore 42, and it's 3 megabytes, so you know it's the right one. Now, go back into Internet Browser. And it should give you the congratulations screen. Just hit OK. And you should be at your Flasher version 2.0 page. It'll say either NOR or NAND on top, depending on which one you selected, and which one you have. You've already downloaded the photo. You don't need to do it again. At this point, go into Initialize explo uh, Exploitation. When it's done and you get a successful message, then go ahead and press the Patch button. Now, if at any point in time during any of this, you get an error or you get a failed, it should give you the option to um, reload the page. You can do that. You can also exit out of the page and then come back into it, maybe delete the cache again, and just try a couple of times. This depends on your connection and their connection, so you know it may take a while or it just may not work. 
So once you get that successful message in step three, it is strongly advised that before you turn off your PS3, that you run all the steps uh, to check your BIOS again, your NOR or your NAND dumper. You're going to be running it uh, to make sure that your BIOS are clean. Of course, checking it on your PC. That will require you to install a USB uh, drive into your PS3. And yes, you can do all of that right now. Even after you get a successful message in step three, you would follow the steps in the video to come here. You'll have to reset the home page to, um, you know, whatever page that we cover in that video, depending on what you're going, you know, which method you're using, then you'll have to delete the cache, the history, and all that stuff again. If you're doing the, you know, the online way, you would have to um, download the file that you need so it can dump it into your USB. Um, so yeah, so all of that stuff, but you can do it all from right here without turning off your PS. Once you're comfortable, once you've checked your uh, your dumped files, your dumped NOR or NAND, and you're comfortable with how everything looks, at that point, turn off your PS, turn it back on, install CFW, 482 Ferex or 482 Rebug, and then you can use Habib's QA toggle to downgrade and install whatever CFW if you want to use a different one other than those. Or if you're confident at this point right here, then you could just turn it off right here once you get that successful message in step three, and then and install the 482 CFW of your choice. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. Sorry I had to abruptly cut it off, but um, this was really one long video and I decided to chop them up into different parts. But anyway, on the next video, we are gonna be focusing on how to do the exploit uh, using the local method where you're gonna use your PC as a local server, either using MiniWeb or Fenix or some other type of local server app like that. There's two variants to that. There's the one where you'll be using a USB dongle and then the one where it involves no USB dongle. Now, of course, you will need it so you can transfer some files in, but to actually run the exploit, it does not need to be plugged in. And that may help some of you out who may be having an issue and maybe not even realizing it uh, with the uh, exploit being able to be read successfully off of your USB dongle. Now it'll be read off of the internal HDD instead. And so hopefully that'll, you know, increase your odds of success. So if you want, you can watch those videos next. Thank you for watching this one. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.